hey how's it good people this is a video number three of uh, basic money saving hacks um, think part one we spoke about um, assets versus liabilities and uh, part two we spoke about how do you begin to structure your income and expenditure statement and how do you allocate uh, different items in your expense um, statement so yeah this one for today we're going to be taking things a little bit different we are basically going to be looking at uh, seven steps to savings and investment mastery um, that is looking at uh, how you begin to prepare yourself the soft issues how do you behave in in order for you to be able to reach your goal so number one you have to take a decision decision is very important you have to take a decision that is absolutely something that you want to do wholeheartedly with all the fiber of your being that it's something that you want to do you have to decide that i am going to do this and i'm going to win number two mindset versus belief so your mindset and the belief system is also going to be very critical uh, to prepare your mind and tell yourself that it's something that you have the ability to do uh, even though you might not have all the necessary knowledge but you're willing to learn and do whatever it takes so that you can succeed so prepare your mind and your belief system that and believe in yourself that is very important number three you must collect friends or get your master group you know in english they say that beds of the same feather flocks together so if you want to fly like an eagle you can't be hanging around with chicken practical example if you had if your group of friends five friends that you are all employees they high, there's high likelihood that the language that you are going to be speaking about is chasing the corporate ladder how to get the next position how to get that managerial position and all those things it's not saying that it's wrong but if the entrepreneur if they talk about money and investment if they are one step ahead of ahead of you it's it's people that you can be able to model them so you must model people that are around you people that challenge you on a daily basis so that becomes very important and uh, your positive your positive daily habits that's uh, step number four it is going to be become very important the things that you do on a regular basis and on this one we have what we call it three h we call it triple h you must do these three things on a regular basis decide that you are going to be an honorable man or woman number two you must be very humble and three you must be hungry be hungry for success want to succeed always strive to succeed in everything that you do and then number five you must um, actually always be enthusiastic about the things that you you are doing passion and enthusiasm it becomes very important you must be uh, very passionate about 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 the subject of savings and investment and um, a practical example for the past 10 years or so i've been uh, more consumed in the issues of uh, monetary history uh, savings and investment and uh, how the economy works in general so it's something that i love it's i have passion for it and it's not something that i inherited or it's something that i studied for at school it has got nothing to do with my academic qualification or my career prospect it's such something that i've decided and made a decision to, to pursue so yeah and number six you must be always be prepared how do you prepare yourself you prepare yourself by educating yourself self-educating yourself like i said earlier earlier on it's not something that 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 it should be aligned to your academic uh, prospect or academic qualification it has got nothing 
to do with your schooling. It has got nothing to do with your career prospect. It's all about your passion. So if in order for you to develop a passion and develop any skill, you have to self-educate yourself. How do you do that? Like I've been doing in the past years, watching a lot of YouTube videos when it comes to money and investment, when it comes to uh, when it comes to savings, when it comes to safe haven assets like gold and silver, etc. So it must be something that you love and something that you must continuously upskill yourself, constant progress progression so that is basically being um, always be prepared because you'll never know when the opportunity will come for you to invest so when the opportunity comes you don't have to start afresh and go into the basics and all those things and once you begin to educate yourself you'll be able to I mean to smell a scam from a mile away because there are a lot of scams out there and a lot of scams, people are getting scams because they're not educated enough. They don't stretch their mind. They don't take time to research and, and know about these things. And uh, we, we live in the information age, information overload. Information is available in the tip of our fingers through mobile phones and all those things. But yet, there's so much uh, ignorance amongst our people and all those things. They're just, they just lazy to, to read. Be curious. So that's that's... That's the long and short of it as far as being prepared is concerned. Last but not least, think big. It's very important for you to think big. Think big, stretch your mind. If 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 you want, if you see yourself walking in the streets of Singapore, uh, you, you do that while you are still in South Africa. If you if you if you envision yourself uh, being in Dubai, if you envision yourself being in Mauritius, and envision yourself being in the Bahamas or the US for that matter, you must see it. While you are still in your doorstep, you must see it, you must see yourself doing So that's how you stretch your mind. If you have that uh, million dollar house that you want to buy in the near future, but you cannot afford now, go, go and view it. Uh, go inside and look at the price tag and envision it and, and, and claim it. And claim it, I mean, you would claim it from the universe. I mean, every idea that you see in the world, every idea, every invention in television, mobile phone, it's all started, started in the mind. It was conceived in the mind and the word become, become, becomes flesh. So everything that is conceived in the mind, it will eventually become flesh. It will become, become in the physical reality. So, yeah, that's the long and short of it, guys. Um Please, uh, if you like my content and videos, hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notification if I've uploaded a new video. The next series, which is going to be series number four, will be basically diving into um, how do you actually basically practically expense items in your income and expenditure statement on a monthly basis in a very um, brief and um, simple template that I use. So I'll be showing you how I do that. It's very important in your in your financial future and your finance journey. Cheers guys. See you in the next video.